Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this tutorial, we will learn about strings in C++. C++ comes with a library for strings, which comes with very important and useful functions. Let's learn about them in this tutorial. C++ string class internally uses char array to store characters, but all the memory management, allocation, and null termination is handled by string class itself. That is why it is very easy to use. The length of C++ string can be changed at runtime because of dynamic memory allocation. We will be using the library bit slash stdc++.h from here on because it includes all the libraries in C++. To declare a string variable, we write string followed by the variable name just like normal variables. To initialize a string, we write the string in double quotes inside the parenthesis of the variable. Like this. Let's print the string. We just need to write the C out to print the string. We can see that the output is as expected. To initialize a string with multiple occurrences of a string or substring, we write the number of occurrences we want to have comma followed by the substring in quotes. Here we are printing a string with 5 stars. Let's run this code. We can see that 5 stars are printed. We can find the length of a string using dot length function. To use this function we just need to write the variable name dot length like this. To find the character at some index, we use the dot at function. Here we are finding the value at index 4. To clear a string, we write the variable name dot clear. Let's run this code. We can see that the length, the character at fourth index is printed and then the string is cleared. To append a substring to a string, we use the dot append function. Like here, in this case, we are appending for geeks to S1. The sub str function prints the substring of length b starting from index a. If we do not pass b in the function, it automatically takes this value as length minus 1. Let's run this code. We can see that S2 is appended to S1 and the substring geeks is printed. To delete specific part of a string, we use the erase function. This function deletes a string of length b starting from index a. Here we are deleting a substring of length 3 from index 3. Let's run this code. We can see that the output is as expected. To find a pattern or substring in a string, we use the dot find function. This function returns the index at which substring is found, else it returns 0. Sorry, it returns minus 1. Like here, we are finding 4 in geeks for geeks. To replace a substring of a string, we use the dot replace function. This function replaces B characters from A index with str. Here, we are replacing 4 with R in geeks for geeks. Let's run this code. We can see that 4 is found at index 5 and in the next line it is replaced with R. So this brings us to the end of this video tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments in the comments section.